Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Cooking with Lisa. I hope you're all well. Today we will be making Guyanese style fried bake. This is also known as float. To my all-purpose flour, I'm adding some baking powder and baking soda, salt and sugar. Mix everything well. Also to this recipe, I'm going to add in some softened butter. And this is unsalted butter that I'm using. Next, I'm adding in some lukewarm water, a little bit at a time, until a dough is formed. All the ingredients and measurements will be listed in the description box below this video. Once your dough is formed, go ahead and knead it for about 5 minutes. Then divide them into 6 equal parts and cover them with a damp kitchen towel so that they will not dry out but keep moist. After the doughs have rusted, go ahead and pour vegetable oil in a wide pan and let it heat up on medium-high heat. While the oil is heating up, go ahead and take one of the dough balls, dust it in a little bit of flour, then with the palm of your hand, Flatten it like this. If you're not good at using the palm of your hands to flatten the dough ball, then you can always use a rolling pin to roll it out into the thickness you will like your bakes to be. Once you've flattened the dough to your desired thickness, go ahead and place it in hot oil to fry on medium-high heat. Once the bake is in the oil to fry, go ahead and take your spoon and scoop oil continuously on top of it like this until it is swollen. If you did not do this, then the bake will become flat and the inside will not cook properly. The first bake will take a long time to fry, but the others will take a short time. Go ahead and flip it over once it is swollen and let it fry to the brownness you desire. While I was living in Guyana, I really did enjoy eating these bakes with Guyanese-style scrambled eggs and salted fish. However, since I've moved to Kuwait, I have not gotten my hands on any salted fish, but that did not stop me from enjoying these bakes with other Guyanese foods such as vegan choka, scrambled eggs, and fried tuna with potatoes. Once the bakes are finished cooking, go ahead and put them in a container lined with kitchen paper and foil paper so this way they will stay soft. And this is what it looks like from the inside. You can stuff so many good things in there guys. Look at how soft it is. What would you have these bakes with? Let me know in the comments down below. That is all for today's video guys, thank you so much for watching it, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, please share this video with your family and friends, have a blessed day, remember that Jesus loves you, and I want you to know that there is no sin that is too great for the Lord to wash away, have a blessed day, bye!